Man, you can't 3D print a tank. A2 Abrams tank ready for mass destruction. Man, that's just a model. People just print random trinkets on the internet. All right, but don't believe that yet until I really show you what 3D printing can do, especially with CAD, in this video. All right, so apparently my sister needs a tiny trash can, but I am seriously not spending 18 bucks and waiting for a day or two for a trash can to arrive on my porch when I can design a fully custom trash bin in 15 minutes. Let me show you. CAD is simple. When you start designing, you are essentially drawing 2D shapes and stretching them out with the extrude tool to make 3D shapes. You can then draw more 2D shapes on the faces of 3D shapes and stretch those out to cut into shapes, add on to them until you have what you wanted to design. When you CAD, you are a virtual sculptor. The general shape was very easy. I drew two differently sized squares and had them a few inches apart, then used the loft tool to connect them together. Finally, after using the handy dandy shell tool, it allowed me to hollow it out while leaving the top open and having a specified wall thickness of my choosing. I then had some fun and created a cool exterior design to spice things up. Now, all I gotta do is prepare it in the slicer and it's gonna take over 24 hours. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. So, what do you think? You literally just created a customized box. Look. You see this Amazon box? Yeah. Instant desk trash can. Probably could have bought a desk trash can and had it shipped in less time as well. I think you just made CAD and 3D printing look much more useless. And because of that, I'm out. So, you know how I am a YouTuber and want to get good angles to shoot my videos from? Yeah? Well, take a look at this. I'm gonna design a tripod arm that will allow me to do that. How is this useful? Observe. This is like no other tripod. It will allow my iPhone and the camera on it to spin, rise, and go back and forth in practically any direction. That means I can drag my camera in midair, and when the shot is good, I lock it in place. Lock it in place with what? Uh, well, I mean, I've I've never done anything like this before, but but it'll work. All right, just trust me, bro. Well, here goes nothing. Come on, come on. No way.
All right, all I gotta do now is assemble it all together. This should be easy. Oh my God, Man, doesn't even stay in place, huh? CAD to real life, all thanks to 3D printing. All right, so check this out. I can uh, unscrew these screws, right? I can move this around however I like. And if I find that, I don't know, this position, something like that is good, then I just tighten the screws and it should theoretically hold its place. Now, I don't have my phone on here right now because I'm recording a video and uh, you know, so I can't, I can't really be right here, but I would suggest like taping this down. Oh. Uh, can you make me a cup holder that can fit onto any table thickness? Sure. And there you go. Man, uh, 3D printing is pretty cool, not gonna lie. Can you 3D print me a gun? Well, can I? Uh, yes. But should I? No. It's probably illegal. And also, why do you need a gun? Uh, for, for reasons. Yeah, for reasons. Uh, it's okay, you don't have to 3D print me the gun. But even without the 3D printed gun, I will never see 3D printing as useless. No problem, man number two. So, what do you think? Where can I get one? I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it, but you may be wondering, just as man number two did, where can I get one, specifically the 3D printer? Obviously, you can order off one from the internet or from Amazon, but there are many different kinds of 3D printers. So, which one should you get? Well, down below in the description, I have two affiliate links to two different kinds of printers, among other things. Bender 3 Pro, the one right here, is very nice. It worked right out of the box and it was very beginner friendly. The Ender 3, uh, not the Pro version, is a much cheaper version. It comes at around 169 bucks at the time of posting. Very cheap, probably the cheapest I've ever seen it. Um, and it basically works similar to the Ender 3 Pro from what it seems, but uh, maybe with a little less uh, functionality. Now, if you are a tinkerer like me and you want to upgrade your printer from it works to it works very, very well and it goes at maximum speed for a sustained amount of time. So down below, there are some other links uh, to Ender 3 upgrades like this one right here, which is a magnetic PEI sheet, which allows for very, very good bed adhesion. So the part would basically have no chance of it just flying off everywhere and things like that. But when it cools down, right, when your heated bed cools down, it is so satisfyingly easy to just get your part off and you know, it's very nice. Then we have the CAD. Onshape is free. That's all I have to say. I am not sponsored by Onshape, by the way. I hope this video piqued your interest in 3D printing and CAD or changed your perspective on it. I'll be making a future video about how to design and print your very own objects. So stay tuned for that. This is a new kind of video that I made. So if you liked this kind of video of storytelling and, and tinkering combined into one, then let me know if you want more of it. And as always, uh, thanks for sticking around and I'll see you in the next one.